A handout on love. Love is a mystery to many, and advice from a trusted source is always welcome. Most people love another the way they want to be loved. There are all kinds of love, and at this Chabad, or Jewish Community Center, Rabbi Israel Bernath offers a different perspective to those searching for answers by piecing apart love. From a spiritual perspective, obviously, I'm not a rabbi for no reason. The Torah is a huge love story. There is so much romance in the Torah. The Bible, plus modern pop psychology, create an interesting mix for a lecture on love, from the example of Moses to... The five love languages. Some people just want quality time. Others want compliments. Still more want to receive gifts, or enjoy physical touch, or... Acts of service. Can vacuuming the floors really be an expression of love? <laughs> Finally figured out my mother. <laughs> Uh, I've been in, uh, looking for hugs and touch, and uh, all she wanted was for me to do the dishes. <laughs> the Chabad House has been open for 18 months now and offers fun activities from Kabbalah Yoga to lectures like these on relationships and love. And young Rabbi Bernath is, and his lectures are growing in popularity among the young professionals of the neighborhood in NDG. Definitely, I use the tips in my day, in, and again, it's, it's, it's how I relate to, to family, friends, any single relationship I go into, I use these tools no matter what, and then hopefully, ultimately, for a, a marriage relationship. The spiritual element of the rabbi's lectures is also comforting. The fact that he touches on uh, my tradition and the, the, the teachings of the Torah, is uh, such an important facet, I think, to really enrich my life personally. But no matter your religious affiliation, relationships and love are an integral part of life. It's a universal message. I think anybody can relate to this message. In Montreal, I'm Johanna Donovan.